the lights continue to shine for just five women who will continue their quest for the title of Miss Universe 1999. The five finalists in random order. South Africa. Venezuela. Spain Now for the final spot in the 1999 Miss Universe goes to Philippines There they are, the five island jewels. Julie Alley, did they make your list? Oh my gosh, we're down to five now. I know some surprises. Julie, I, Puerto my, Rico, I'm, I'm a little my shocked. India. I know, she's gorgeous. I loved her from the beginning. But what happened? We have a great five. We I do think. have a great five, and I must say, they are all brunettes. That's like true. ourselves. We're, I guess we're in good we're keeping tonight. We're in good company. <laughs> there you go. And it's good nice to see it. Miss Philippines tripped in the preliminary That's show. That's true. She tripped in the preliminary she show. She got a standing she got a, ovation. Yeah, it's so great to see her in there. So you know what? Who knows? Maybe next year girls will be tripping. To get in, in the, the top five. There you go. <laughs> Welcome back. Now, no matter what language they speak, the delegates have to think on their feet when it comes to media interviews. In this part of the competition, we'll find out if they have what it takes. South Africa. Roden Island, where President Nelson Mandela was in prison for so many years, is now a tourist attraction. Tell me, how do you feel about that? I think it's absolutely fabulous, as um, Robben Island has a lot of history of which we can show South Africa, we can show the rest of the world that we can live together in a united nation if we choose to. Thank you. Now tell me, what myth about your country would you like to wipe out? Well, South Africa has a lot of history, as I was saying, and I wouldn't say that there is anything I would want to wipe out because it's, it's a historical past in South Africa. So the myths and legends that are there, I would like them to remain there. Thank you very much. South Africa, step right back here. Julie, you know what? I have to say that I don't know if she was really rehearsed or she just really knew her stuff. I because felt she... like she was rehearsed. When she said thank you at the end, it's, I felt like that was, was what she thought she should do. Let's see what the judges thought. Uh, let's go back to Jack and delegate number two. Venezuela. You're the first Miss Venezuela of color, and you say some people weren't happy about that. How did you get them to look past your color? Venezuela, tú has dicho que tú eres la primera Miss Venezuela que es de color y que hubo personas que no se sintieron satisfechas con eso. ¿Qué haces tú para que vean quién eres tú de verdad y no se fijen en tu color? Pues siempre he pensado que la belleza es interna y no es externa. Y quiero y le demuestro a la gente simplemente cómo es Carolina Indriago, conversando con ellos, siendo no Miss Venezuela, en donde quiera que me pare, sigo siendo la misma. Les demuestro cariño, hablo con la gente, les sonrío cada vez que puedo. I've always thought that beauty is internal and not external. So what I do is I always try to be who I am, Carolina Indriago, in the way that I speak to people, in being warm-hearted with them, and that's the way that I do it. Venezuela. You know, I have to say, Venezuelans are known to be hard, cold competitors. But this girl, she seems warm to me. Is it very she's sweet? I think so. Her. And she's she's only 19. She's very one of our youngest contestants. I like her a I lot. Do too. Let's go back to Jack and delegate number three. You're the first delegate in the history of Miss Universe from Botswana. Now, aside from that, how would you like to be remembered? Um, I'd like to be remembered as a pioneer for young women. Um, I was also one only one girl in my class in electronics. And I think I want to be remembered as a pioneer in the sense that I paved way for young women, both in my country and throughout the world. 
You said that you'd like to be the first female president of your country. What would you do differently than the president of the United States? Oh, <laughs> a lot. Well, first thing is, um, I know that if I was president, I would definitely make education compulsory, especially in my countries where you get in rural areas. Some people are not going to school or starting school late. And I think if I was president, uh, they also would make compulsory. But I think even the president of the United States caters for that as well. Thank you very much. Baswan, step right back up here. She feels cute. I think she's adorable, and she's only 19 as well. I feel really? like she's like 28 or 30 years old. It could have been a very controversial answer, or very risky answer. She pulled it off for Now, you would like to be a medical lab technician. What medical discovery would you like to make? If you wanted to be a technician de laboratorio, what discovery medical discovery would you like to make? Pues lo tengo muy claro, la solución al problema del SIDA y del cáncer, enfermedades que, que nos afectan gravemente a la, a la sociedad nuestra del mundo. Well, I'm very clear on that. I'd like to find the solution to cancer and AIDS, which are very serious problems affecting our society. You're also a model, so you know clothing. What's more important, the front of the dress or the back? And could you just turn around for us? Just... Tú eres modelo. Ok. That's, that's... Así que te queremos preguntar, ¿qué parte del vestido consideras más importante? ¿El frente o la parte de atrás? Y volteate. El frente. Hay que mirar a la gente de frente, no por la parte de atrás. The front. You have to look at people face on and not from behind. Thank you. Spain. One of your proudest achievements was standing up to one of your professors back in college. Now, what have you stood up for recently? Oh, when I fell on the stage last Friday. <laughs> I believe that I have stood up for the rest of the women who have fallen, whether on or off stage. I believe that. <laughs> to this example of mine, I have shown courage and strength of being a woman, of being who I am. And I hope to be a good example to the rest of the women in the world. Thank you. Thank you. Philippines. She has a lot of class, a lot of poise, I think. Her, loves her, but Julie, I have to say, she is working that falling on the stage for dress rehearsal. <laughs> I'm telling you, next year, everybody's going to be falling. I think it was what? traumatic for her, and she got a real boost from the crowd. She got it again tonight, so obviously right. it's working for her. I love now, her, though. I love her from the very beginning. Let me ask you this. The women, are they focusing and obsessing on how they look right now, or are they in another zone? You know what? At this portion of the competition, they might run in front of a mirror and check themselves, but really, they're focusing on what's coming up next their question and answer they have prepared forever physically yeah. for this now it's a whole it's a mental competition but I you know i have to say beauty and no brains ain't gonna work here it's not gonna work because you're right. you know these you're ladies right. have to represent the world of course and i think this is an extremely important part of the competition and beauty alone just doesn't cut it so. it doesn't cut the mustard does it okay